Now, doctors at UT are raising awareness about the dangers of using beanbag rounds to control crowds. These are just some of the injuries doctors treated at Dell Seton Medical Center following protests back in May. In some cases, the beanbags, like the one pictured here, broke people's bones and made holes in them. Some even spent days in the ICU. Doctors at Dell Medical School share these findings in the New England Journal of Medicine. They're hoping police departments across the country will consider using less harmful devices. The injuries that were caused by these beanbags were significantly more serious, more severe than what any of us kind of ima imagined a, a beanbag injury would be. These were really more akin to shotgun wounds than they were something like a fairy tale rubber bullet or a beanbag. The Austin Police Department stopped using beanbag rounds against protesters in June after outrage from the community.